Hey everybody, it's Clone Clux in the now. Welcome back to more Minecraft Home Sweet Home Overworld 114.4. Uh, in the last episode, we went into that other mine shaft, and th and we and we also got the obsidian we needed to head into the Nether. And in this episode, um, I'm gonna make an extra helmet if I can find. My iron. I'll just take all my iron with me. Why not? Wow, that's my favorite Pokemon. And... Yeah. We're just heading to the nether in this episode, and if we finish early, we're just gonna go... We're gonna go, uh... We're gonna go and... We're gonna... We're gonna go and finish up the mines. Alright, I'm gonna keep my diamonds in there. And okay. Let's use the let's use gravel and diorite for for the corners. As for where we're gonna put it, let's just Hmm. We can pretty much put it anywhere we want, really. Put it in, hey, let's, let's put it in the water. Why not, you know? Actually. No, let's just, let's just put it in the forest. Um. Yeah, I think right here would be a good spot. Let's hurry up and put this down before something comes and before a creeper comes and kills us. Okay. And we're good. Okay, let's head in. Always take our flint and steel with us as well. May take a little while to load though, since we're as we're going to the Nether in the, for the first time in this world. We need to go deeper. Imagine if you spawned in and the lava flow was, like, right there. Um, I did not make the helmet I spoke of, though. Oh, well, once this breaks, I'll probably have one by then. Let's locate a fortress. And, oh, it's actually really close. And it's right down this way. Oh, that was a horrible impression. I'm so sorry, but there it is. And wow, it's actually really tall. Wow, oh, zombie pigment everywhere. I'm gonna get around. We're just gonna have to climb up. Is there a surface up there? Okay, there is. So if we just uh, make a stairway up, we'll probably we'll probably uh we'll probably get up there. Get up there, geez, voice. I don't even I'm not, I don't even like crackle that much. Yeah, I, 
think we're about right there. Yep, here we are. Uh, we definitely want to get that glowstone, though. Hopefully we'll find some while we're in the fortress. Alright, here we go. A terrible fortress, yes. It's only sort of terrible. And I could really use some shulker boxes as I go through here. We have not been to the end yet. Nor do I think we'll be we will be going to the end anyway. A blaze spawner could be anywhere. I get other torches just to ensure that we have can just quickly light it up before and maybe just take a few hits and and there could be one. Uh, okay, we didn't find one. Hmm. Not in here. Oh wait. There's a little bit of little bit of stuff over here. Or is it just that? Okay. What do you guys think is your favorite song in the nether? You, you like Concrete Halls, Dead Voxel, oh, Spawner. Concrete Halls, Dead Voxel, Ballad of the Cats, or War? I'm personally a Dead Voxel person. Okay, hurry up and light it. There. <clears throat> okay. Now let's use this dirt to get up there so we can grab that blaze rod. Oh. Oh. It'd be funny if there was no blaze rod. Oh. Alright. Uh, blazes are also good for experience grinding because they actually give um, the second most experience of any mob. Uh, first one being the Ender Dragon. Although, that could have been changed. If you guys know of any mobs that might give more experience than the Blaze, feel free to let me know in the comments. But then again, you guys never freaking comment in, on my videos, so I, and I... And there's a lot of information that you guys know that I could probably learn from, but for some reason, you guys, you guys just never comment. And I'm not gonna lie, it kind of annoys me when... Uh, we got two blaze rods, that's all we really need, but I'm gonna get some extras just in case. God, can I stop taking damage for the love of God? So much on the screen. I guess I could just turn the particles off, but... And look at this! I gotta eat again when, when I have... I had to eat something that restores four hunger bars when I only needed one and a half. I really do not like that change. I remember, like, I was playing console edition, and I was like, damn, how hungry can I possibly get? I have never seen any, any video game character more hungry than Steve. Or Alex. Whichever you prefer. I just consider Steve the main character. Even though there aren't really any main characters in Minecraft. And Steve is thing. I... I think Steve was just the just the name like made up by the fans. And speaking of Steve, by the way, I, you guys remember the uh, Pocket Edition, the free for the free Pocket Edition of Minecraft? Yeah, me neither. But I remember there was like a something in there where you could like change your name, and I think the default name was Stevie. So that could possibly mean that Steve really is the name of of the ma ma main character of Minecraft. Ow. Okay, no, you're going away. Come on. Of course. 
Ah, magma, magma cube. We could actually, I could actually really use your cream, but I didn't get any. Use your cream. I have a feeling that's going to be quoted for for years to come. Oh well. And my eye is itching. Ah, what do we got here? Another wart, perfect. We need some of that. Take the chest as well. Oh. Wait for them to fire. Six blaze rods, perfect. And we got plenty of blaze powder as well. And there's another chest over here. There's a baby zombie Pikmin here. Actually, um, actually, now that I think about it, the blaze isn't. I think I. Baby zombies, and I think ba the baby zombie pigmen actually gives even more experience than the blaze does, and the ba normal baby zombie gives the second most. I feel dumb now, but oh well. Anyways, we got another wart. I think we have everything we need. I just want, I just want to find um, at least one more. I want to, I just want at least one magma cream though, um, so we can uh, jump down our trash pit. And fix whatever's going on down there. I think I hear. Actually, no. Oh, there. I was. I thought I was hearing something, and then I. Re, uh, then I was like, wait, it's the sound of a wither skeleton. And wouldn't you know it? Come on. Drop a skull. Drop a skull. No. We're not going to be fighting the wither anyway. Probably not going to fight the wither in any of these homes, unless there's some mod that you need. That you need the um the nether star to light the portal, which. You know what, mod cre if any mod creators are watching this, try that out. Make a dimensional mod where you need to fight the wither and use the nether star to light the portal. What's that? Oh. Magma cube, magma cubes see, really do seem a little bit more rare than I remember them being. I mean, you remember when uh, we did the Minecraft Escape the Nether thing? I think the magma cubes, the magma cubes were pretty common in that, but now I'm not really. F Nowadays, I don't really find much. I mean, I guess it might be because of the spawn rate of the zombie of the zombie pigmen, but I really would prefer. <laughs> I really would prefer the um. If they were a bit more common, I mean, I guess maybe if I uh, I killed a bunch of them, I could I could potentially look um, increase the spawn rate. Not really sure though. We're just exploring now. Check it out. We will one day have a house in here. Well, speaking of that, I know in uh, 1.16 uh, there. I, well, I, what's going on in 1.15 is a mystery to me, but I know in 1.16 the, uh, I know 1.16 the, uh, the zombie pigmen are being replaced with piglins. I don't really like that. I kind of prefer the, uh, normal zombie pigmen. Actually... If we don't wanna, if we don't really need to, I don't think we really need to find the magma cube. I can just spawn in like Magma Queen if I want to. Um, and that's, and if you're wondering what that is, it's basically just something I made up myself. King Slime and Magma Queen. Um, pseudo bosses. Um, uh, that's, they're basically just, um, they're basically just, um, they're basically just, um, giant, Ma slimes and magma cubes, like king, king, sli king slime and magma. Like okay, 
because I don't feel like searching, uh, I don't feel like searching for, uh, ma for, uh, magma cubes, I'm just going to spawn in magma queen. Summon lava slop, lava slide. No, that doesn't work anymore. Minecraft magma cube slash slash slash. Um, size and I think that's how you do it. Oh yeah, that's how you do it. Let me just get out of the way before we split edge back into survival. Okay, there we go. That is Magma Queen, a pseudo boss. And um and some uh, whoa um and some earlier versions of Minecraft, I think she's actually unkillable because of her armor points, because uh the the bigger a magma cube is, the more armor points it has. <laughs> and uh and um yeah, that basically made um Magma Queen in like 1.7.10 virtually indestructible. Like if you play with a lucky block mod in, in one in uh, 1.7.10 you would know that um Magma Cube saw the giant Magma Cube is um whoa is um virtually indestructible and that's because of its Are you freaking serious right now? Okay, I'll go all the way back. Better idea. First of all, use a name tag on it to ensure it doesn't despawn. Second of all, use the use the bow on it on the first phase to just whittle it down slightly. And if you run out of arrows, what? You jumped over that arrow. And if you run out of arrows, just run like hell and then get into a safe spot. I don't think she can touch you in this. Only problem is that. Alright, wait for it to... Get back here! Okay, make it so... Also make it so there's not a place where she can jump... Dang! Okay. <laughs> okay, Magma Queen's not only hard, she's also annoying. And came... Stop with the freaking lag. I'm over here. Across the lava that you can swim through, but I can't. Jeez. It's not recommended to take on a magma cube with just a sword. With a big magma cube with just a sword. So, uh... Hurry. Okay. So much for being a pseudo boss, you might as well be a regular boss. I mean, you can spawn even more, even bigger magma cubes than just that. So, so this is probably nothing compared to what we could be facing. Fighting King Slime, however, is annoying because because um because Fighting King Slime, however, is annoying because. In 1.8, they changed how, uh, slimes work. Basically, uh, how they jump and also how far they jump is dependent on their size. And so, uh, and so a really, a really big slime can jump, like, five blocks, or, like, can jump, like, 30 blocks, and then, uh, at a time, and, uh, if you... And then you just lose it. And apparently it looks like Magma Queen doesn't want to fight us. Oh wait, no, there she is. <laughs> I don't even know if she's taking any damage. Like, I know for a fact that I have fought and beaten her in one point in 1.11 before. And I'm gonna get rid of this gas before it becomes a problem. Of course I can't reach it. I can just cut off its tentacles and bring it down. Or even just grab its tentacles and bring it down. Now, what the heck is she doing? All right, screw the gas. I'm just gonna get. I'm just gonna go to the magma cube before it gets too far away. All right. Let's also block this off so it doesn't become a problem.
Hey, you, Pikachu. is she doing? Maybe we should go down there and fight her. Honestly, seems like the best idea. Only problem is let the magma blocks down there. I'm gonna just put the cra put the magma block in the crafting grid and get nine magma cream from it. That's a that would be a nice third way to obtain magma cream. Wow, I think magma queen is just like gone at this point. <laughs> Unless she somehow sees me from all the way over there. You know what I should have done, actually? I probably should have just fought King Slime. Okay. <laughs> Magma Queen obviously doesn't want to fight, so it doesn't look like we're going to have any Magma Cream for a while. So unless we can find one, we'll find uh, another, a regular Magma Cube on the way back to the overworld. Here. On the bright side, because she's named, Magma Queen won't despawn, so if we do somehow run into her again, she will retain ain't her damage and will and will also be there ready for us to fight. That's like an arena down there. I wish I had an Enderpearl with me. Whatever. Let's just head back to the overworld, and I think next time on, on Minecraft Home Sweet Home in the Overworld, we're gonna finish we're gonna start digging through the mines. And I will see you guys then. Goodbye.